Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. The, the anger that I felt last night was beyond like putting somebody through a fucking drywall. It was beyond a Kyle. I'll put it to you that way. It was beyond a, 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 like two cans of Monster and a drywall. We're talking David Banner type levels where I like there was a, a friend of my wife's at this school board meeting. She was like, I think you might be turning green right yeah, now, yeah, going yeah. full fucking Hulk uh, inside this place. So what happened was, I'm wearing, I'm wearing these shirts. So if you're watching the video show on YouTube, uh, my wife and all of her friends in the neighborhood had made this shirt, uh, Mason, Mason Burrow Forest, uh, for neighborhood schools, right? That's our, that's our neighborhood. I know a lot of people will be like, hey, how, why would you give your fucking neighborhood away? A bunch of cops live there. That's like the safest neighborhood of all time. Yeah. Love it. L- love the neighborhood. All the cops are great. Uh, also, we, I patrol that neighborhood. And yeah. You, you really don't want to run into me at night. We love the police, man. So, and, and they live there. One of them, uh, you know, is outside the school. Wilmington PD is fantastic. Um, that being said, uh, the reason why I'm saying this is uh, they're redistricting the school system here. Um, which is a real big fucking problem for me. Well, look, I mean, sometimes redistricting happens. But it does. The, the way they're doing it doesn't make any fucking... Like, you have to drive past the school that your kid goes to now Yes, to take them to a school that's like 20 minutes beyond o- that. On right? the same street. Yeah. And, and it's a one... Like, Wilmington's a very small town. Yeah, yeah. It's a one, it's a one lane street. I have to drive past the school that I'm currently taking my children to to go to another school for this um it's busy and it's traffic and look like an hour to an hour 15 to your day every single day uh, yes and and it's uh you know there's cops out in front yeah obviously for for children's safety and all that stuff like i would have to wait in two lines of traffic or try to go out onto the main road which there is no traffic lights outside that neighborhood to get in or out um and then that's a fuck all of traffic as well either way that's going to add an hour hour and 30 to the day yeah um we we're just saving all of this you know hurrah for the 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 big meeting right they said we could uh get up and speak we're gonna have our moment in the sun and the reason why i'm bringing this up today is we've actually gotten a shit ton of emails about redistricting and and things that happen along this nature first of all it's all we'll just we'll just let you know everything that went down it's all rigged right with the school board usually you know some kids are their parents are on the school board They'll keep their neighborhoods. They redistrict uh, along those lines. This one's rigged because they're, they're actually all up. The board is all up for re-election next year. The school board in Wilmington, so they, ha- they hired outside of Wilmington, North Carolina. Right. Yeah, that's a typical politics move. Like if you, it's, it's a diffusion of responsibility, right? Yes. So I don't want to take the brunt of the heat. Like, hey, it wasn't me. It was this, 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 this company that's a fucking specialist mm-hmm. recommended it. Like now. So there was a guy, I'm going to read off his name here, because um, here's the meeting started. We were promised that we would get to speak in this auditorium and everything else, and uh, they showed this PowerPoint presentation that was in you know shitty graphics and everything. If you go to croppergis.com, you could see how shitty the fucking graphics are. That's exactly what was on the screen. I mean, it looked like it was made by you know a child, maybe my child. I, I don't know. If he gets to stay at this school, maybe he'll get to make this website yeah, one day. next time, yeah. Um, but a guy gets up. His name is David L. Wartman. And he gets up in front of everybody and says, hey, guys. Uh, doesn't introduce himself, by the way. I, I'm saying his name because he won't say his name. Say it again. David L. Wartman. And, uh, Spell that last name. Uh, W-O-R-T-M-A-N. Uh, that is David L. Wartman. And he gets up and says, hey, guys. Uh, so we hired this outside company. They've never been here. <laughs> They've never lived here. And we did this to remain unbiased. And I was like, motherfucker, you have no idea any street, any neighborhood, any traffic pattern, anything mm-hmm. that we go through <laughs> in this whole goddamn thing. Why would you hire an outside firm? Oh, that's right. You're up for, for re-election next year. Purposely doesn't say his name because all of the parents are getting immediately pissed off. Finally, one like angry lady in the back just screams out at the end of his, his brief speech. Say your name. What's your name? <laughs> and he was like, oh, I'm sorry. Did I not say it? Uh, David, it's David Wartman. Dave Wartman. Like David Wartman. I'll be in the other it's room and David we can Wartman. all fucking jack each other off or whatever after this meeting. Then Matthew Cropper gets up from, from GIS. Um, Wait, David Wartman. Who is this guy? Uh, he's a school board guy? Yeah, he's the school board guy. 
he's the he, he was the one school board guy that chose to to speak. Uh, there was another dude there named uh, Nelson Bolu. Um, good luck on the last name of that fucking that spelling on the last name of that one. Either or, after the presentation, they say, "Hey guys, so we're actually going to take you to another room." We've got some maps pasted up on the wall, and we're going to look, we'll let you look at the redistricting. We've got different options for each neighborhood, and then, uh, you know, we're going to make our decision in like three weeks or whatever it's going to be, right? Mm-hmm. And then they were like, if, if you find somebody with a yellow lantern, you can talk to them about your concerns and whatever, right? Mm-hmm. I go into this room. Um, it's in a, like a middle school gym is what it kind of looked like. Right. The map was so small, it might as well have been in Braille. Um, if you, you, you could just see parents like pushing in on their iPhones to try to find their streets again, all of it on purpose. It, you, it, it was either the map of Wilmington, North Carolina or Madagascar. Uh, <laughs> don't know which one, but, uh, there was three colors. It's basically the same place. Yeah. It's, it, it might as well have been right. Yeah. So you're there. I immediately bolt over to, uh, Matthew Cropper. Um, who runs? This is the turd from the GIS. From yes, proper GIS. Uh, six one four four five one one two four two. Um, and, uh, and by the way, I'm giving out his number because he he said it was fine when I talked to him. He <laughs> said, uh, "Look, we we uh, encourage your feedback. That's why you're here today." And I said, "Well, that's not true. Or else you let you would have let us speak last night." Uh, we get to the map. We don't have another option. So they had just relocated our neighborhood, right? Um, and said, "You don't have any other options. Sorry, that's it." Uh, and if you have any other thoughts and or suggestions um you can fill out a survey online survey was about five questions um, i immediately went out to the news crew outside and did copious amounts of interviews obviously of course yeah um you can read those online or find those i was on fire needless to say but uh my wife and you know all the, the women in the neighborhood had made these t-shirts and everything and they were just trying to silence any voices that were potentially pissed or whatever. Right, yeah, um, of course. I ran into, like, because there was 14 people you could have talked to, right? I ran into one of them who I actually knew on, a, like, a friendship level, and I was like, hey, bro, you don't work for the school board, do you? You're not supposed to be here. And he goes, no, man, they fucking made me be here. And I was like, so do we need to talk to him? He's like, there's only three people that have anything to do with this. Um, so I talked to fucking Matthew Cropper, GIS. GIS, uh, by the way, stands for Geospatial Intelligence. Does it? So it's like... Uh, <sighs> Using maps and, and cartography to make humans smarter. No. Okay. Ge- <laughs> okay. Geospatial intelligence is, is something that the intelligence community does, and the purpose of it is to uh, give people a broader understanding of what's going on at a certain place in a certain time. Mm. And you look at patterns and trends and stuff like that. Right, right, right. Look, <clears throat> the idea of geospatial intelligence for something like this makes sense for sure, but there's no way that a fucking local school board could afford what it takes to actually do an assessment of traffic patterns. There's no fucking way. No, none at all. Absolutely not. All they did was hire this guy to come be uh, a fucking talking head. That's, That's it. it. That's it. And so I, I, I confronted him, and, and uh, things got pretty heated. Um, and I said, look, man, you were promised that we would have options, all this other stuff. Uh, my biggest issue with it is this, right? I moved to Wilmington to get out of L.A., the school, the schools in the public schools in LA are shitty, right? Yeah. I want, I went to a public school. I wanted my kids to go to a public school. I'm not putting them behind fucking bars or gates. I don't live in a goddamn gated neighborhood. Um, all the shit we talk on the show, yeah, we actually preach. Like I, I don't, I, I don't live in a fucking gated community or any of that shit because I don't want to. No, I don't want to feel isolated from human life. I don't want my kids to go to private schools and stare at fucking tablets all day, like. I just don't want that. I want them to go on the bus. I want them to have real experiences. I wanted them to do that. I um, also wanted my parents to be there with my children. So they had just moved here as well. We had asked the realtor specifically, hey, man, <clears throat> I realize redistricting happens. It happened to me as a child. And it of sucks. course. Yeah, yeah. I sucked. I, you know, I was in Atlanta uh, in, in the 80s when, you know, job boom happened. Mm-hmm. Fucking all these people moved in here. Wilmington is booming right now as well. Uh, and, and I got redistricted. And it was the same thing. I had to drive past my school to get to the other. Dude, I sat on the bus for like 45 minutes each way. It's, it sucked. I fucking hated it. Yeah, it ruins 
your whole fucking life. Yes. And, and all the friends that you had made yeah. are now separated the following year. So, like, I didn't see them. This happened in fourth grade in Atlanta. I didn't see them again until high school in ninth grade. Mm-hmm. It was weird, man, where I was just like, oh. Because yeah. some of those friendships you grow out of. Yeah, yeah. Uh, some of the girls get hotter. Some, you know, whatever, man. It was a weird fucking scene. We all ended up having to go to high school. So together. the girls from fourth grade got hotter in, in ninth grade is what you're saying. Well, some of them. Like, because look, you always have your crushes in life oh, yeah, yeah. and all that stuff, right? And you're like, oh, I wonder what they're going to do. I never really be. paid a lot of attention to how things progressed over time. I guess some people, for me, it was more people just kind of sorted themselves into click categories. Yeah. Like, there's, there was a girl at my school that was like fucking knockout back then and in high school. She was still a knockout, but she kind of hung out with a bunch of fucking dum dums. Mm-hmm. So it's like, ugh. Yeah. Ruined it. Ruined it. Fucking ruined it. Anyways, these people are all clowns. Clowns. And, and so, you know, I talked to Matthew Cropper uh, from Cropper GIS. What's his phone number? 614-451-1242. If you want to call him and say free Mason Borough Forest, that would be great. You can leave a message. He encouraged it when I talked to him. Uh, I said to him this, man. My biggest issue with everything that's going on is you don't live here. You don't know any of these traffic patterns that, that, that go on. You didn't sit on a bus, which I think is important. If you're going to do this... Sit on a bus with the actual kids themselves. Yeah. Drive to these schools and see what it's like for them as well, along with the parents. Because, look, I've got two kids at two different ages right now. Um, again, when I, when I asked my realtor to find me a neighborhood that would not be redistricted, he said, look, out of the, if you go out the back of your neighborhood, you were 1.6 miles to your elementary school, and you're 1.8 miles to your middle school. Yeah. And that's it. He was like, there's... That's as close as you can get to those two schools. Uh, there's, there's only like two or three high schools here, so you're, you're right. kind of stuck there or whatever. And he goes, there's no way you can possibly be redistrict because the schools are so close to your house. Again, 1.6 if you take a left to go to the elementary school. 1.8 if you take a right to go to the middle school. And I was like, great, man. Uh, went into the neighborhood, made sure there was a bunch of kids there. I think it was about 34 kids there that go yeah. to school with my child. Mm-hmm. Um, family friendly, everybody waves at each other. It's, it's polite. It's, it's the best neighborhood I've ever lived in, adult or child, in my entire life. And then this fucking bombshell gets dropped on me. My kids have already started school, yeah. right? And now I'm going to have to pull them out and go to another school and drive them past that or they're going to have to sit on a bus for an extra 45 minutes. Um, and again, they gave us no options whatsoever of like hey man we, we could do this or this or this right. or this uh they keep trying to pass the buck that's why i'm talking about it here where it's just like look man um i need a little help from the drinking bros that's right. it just one free phone call uh you can call cropper gis matthew cropper uh is his name it's 614-451-1242 and say free mason borough <laughs> forest uh which is my neighborhood and just say look man what the fuck bro what the fuck? And how could you... I, because the thing is this, man. I know my wife and like all the other moms worked hard on all of this, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and they didn't even give them a time to speak. Time to speak. Yeah. Uh, they didn't take the, the, the petitions, the, the other things yeah. or whatever. Um, and I could see... Because this happened to me in middle school. I lived in Florida for a year. I could see if you were redistricting to maybe reappropriate or, or include more races, right? Yeah, yeah. If yeah. you were trying to... Uh, you know, desegregate the schools or whatever. That's yeah. not, that's not the case at all. Um, no, it's, it's just about, uh, actually, you know, honestly, I don't know what the fuck it's about. I don't either. Um, there's, there, look, there's a bunch of rumors going around that, uh, cause we've only, again, Wilmington is a small town, quarter million people, I think somewhere yeah. in there. Um, there's one gigantic hospital here and there's a rumor that the hospital is for sale for a billion dollars to like a, a Novart or one of those places. Yeah, yeah. One of the big conglomerates, yeah. Yeah, because a bunch of these conglomerates are going into cities buying up hospitals. Oh, yeah. And then it's, it is... By the way, if you're wondering why your insurance costs are so high, it's because of that and because of the big pharmaceutical industry. Correct. So. so what the city wants to do <laughs> is take that money and then build the schools off of that money, right? Right. Um, and that's the rumor that's going around of why they just don't build another school that's, that's closer or open up more schools or whatever it is. Cause it's, you know, in our area, it's not like they opened up other schools. They're just pushing kids around. To Do different you know schools. how many kids in total are enrolled at the elementary school? Uh, well, I, I know the difference was this. I know the difference was about 128 uh, total. So 25% of those are in your neighborhood. 
So 25% of that difference is coming from one neighborhood. Correct. Like, get fucked. And, 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 they, and it's like they're sending 25% of the fucking redistricting across the school to get to another school. That doesn't make any fucking sense. At all. Each school is still going to be overcrowded and, you know, they'll have a trailer or whatever. The reason, again, the reason I'm fucking so goddamn pissed off about it is like, dude, we have moved. I've moved my entire life from Los Angeles here specifically to get to this neighborhood uh, because it was just the schools were closer to my yeah. children and that was it. Um, <clears throat> my parents just moved here because, uh, look, Drinking Bros keeps growing. We keep doing bigger and bigger events, live yep. shows, guests all around the country. And we're like, look, man, we'd love to see the grandkids more, spend some time and help you out on the back end of this. So they literally just bought a house here fucking 12 days ago. Um, and now I'm like, I, what the fuck do I tell them? Like, hey, man, sorry. You know that school you occasionally take them to? They're gonna, you're going to have to hike it on down the road yeah. past that school to go <laughs> to another school. And I would be, look, I, I also probably would have been fine with this if, if there was some other options on the table or they, they just would have let everyone speak. Because there was a lot of angry, a lot of like two, 300 angry parents yeah. in one room. Let them all have a chance to speak. Um, in public, in a public forum, don't take people to a fucking back room and tell them to get with somebody with a yellow necklace and, and do a song and fucking dance and present things um, because you can't do anything, and you know that, right? Yeah. Like, what's the term for that? They're, they're trying to destabilize them or what, you know? Def- no, they're trying diffuse to... Diffuse the a, situation. It's a diffusion uh, yeah. of, of responsibility from their, their sake. So here's what uh, we can do, I guess. Um if this behavior continues from the school board, mm-hmm. it, it, it gets real simple. So I've worked in politics before. I know how all this works. And it's a digital age, and I've done a little bit of digital marketing in my day. <laughs> so if they keep messing around and doing stupid stuff like this, and you'll notice I'm not swearing because we're going to put this out publicly, uh, I'm going to spend a lot of my time, effort, resources, and uh, capabilities making sure that none of these people ever get elected to that school board again. Yeah, I, look, and I have all their names. Um, you know, there's there's about five of them, and they're all up for reelection next year. So, uh, I, I I told you, I called you last night, yeah, because I had just gotten back from it, and I, and I was fucking exhausted after doing you know live shows and flying across the country and all that yeah. other shit. Plus, we did you know Texas LSU and the Cowboys game. Yep, we did live shows from from there as well. We were gone for about eleven days, and then to go into this and then not have a chance to speak because that's that's why I flew back in the first place. Um, I was elected from our neighborhood to speak, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, to not get to do any of that shit, yeah, fucking a, bro. I mean, it is goddamn brutal. And I, I talked to Matthew Cropper at Cropper GIS at six one four four five one one two four two Freemasonboro Forest, um, and I said, look, man, I think you might be making a mistake with this, and you probably should have let people speak, and maybe you should have another meeting. And he's like, no, uh, that doesn't work, and he, you know. It, tried to make us some excuse of why it didn't. Um, and I was like, you just don't want people to speak out publicly is what it is. Right. And so I said to him, I was like, well, if you don't let me speak here, uh, we have an audience of 6.1 million. And I could speak there if, if, if you'd feel more comfortable with that. Yeah. And he looked at me and he just goes, like, like you know, kind of like winced. And he goes, yeah, uh, you know, we welcome, uh, you know, feedback. Um, That's right. Through through the phone and all that stuff. I was like, great, because I'll, I'll just call the office. We, we can call the office. That's fine. I just want, you know, a conversation um, one-on-one without, you know, 200 parents around just screaming, trying to, you know, say why the, their, their kids shouldn't be separated. Because there's kids that are, you know, look, at an elementary school, there's kids that are in kindergarten, and then they have older brothers that are in third grade. Oh, yeah, like yeah. My kids are separated by four years. Yep. What, are you going to just pull them out of there? Yeah. Um, now, now, like when uh, when your oldest is in high school and your youngest is in the elementary school, are they going to be going to different schools? Because fuck, man, it'd be awful. So what? What? Uh, here's what I'm going to do for real. If this doesn't get changed, I, I'm going to run. Actually, I'm going to run for for the board. And uh, look again, it's a small town. Uh, we have a lot of friends here. We know pretty much everyone in this goddamn city. Yeah, I'll just run for your fucking job. So. Uh, if something doesn't happen, you don't let these women come up on stage and speak. Um, I will run for your fucking job, David Wharton, uh, and I will take it from you next year. Uh, Nelson, uh, I will run for your fucking job. That's Nelson Bal- Baloo. Yeah. 
I will take it next That's year. That's B-E-A-U-L-I-U, by the way. And, and chances are it'll be, what, two or three social media posts? Yeah, um, that'll do it. Lisa Estep, E-S-T-E-P. Yeah. Stephanie Adams. It's Stephanie with a... B-H. S- S- no, it's S-T-E-F-A-N-E. F and F. Just a stupid way to spell your name. Judy Justice. Judy. Jeanette S. Nichols and Bill Rivenbark, R-I-V-E-N-B-A-R-K. And they're all, uh, their emails are first name dot last name at N-H-C-S dot net. If you're, you know, yeah. feeling if you, like if you, you, you feel inclined Again, it's free. I don't know what you're saying to yourself, Ross. You bitch a lot about a lot of shit from, from time to time. And uh, only when it's unfair to the world, like, you know, I, I guess to people that have worked hard. Because it, it, it just keeps happening over and over and over again yeah. um, to people. And it's like, man, again, like the Drinking Bros, man, fuck. Like, thank you for my service. Yeah, the, the Drinking Bros worked really hard to make sure that was the number one book in the world. And it was. And it was. And then we didn't get recognized for it. Yeah, for, for, for yeah. the New York Times bestseller. So like, we're actually going to go talk to somebody about that on Friday. We are. And if that interview goes down, I can promise you it'll be the end all be all. Yeah, your dick. You've and, all been waiting for. Your dick and balls are going to fall off. Yeah, you've all been waiting for. But, uh, uh, and truthfully, like, you know, whatever neighborhoods you live in or whoever is, is getting moved or whatever, like, uh, all of these women, because it was, look, it was a lot of moms there, uh, very few dads, but I'm, yeah, a, yeah. I'm a pretty hands-on dad. I, I, a lot, for as arrogant as I seem on air, I love my children and uh, they're the best. Like, I, I don't have bad kids and they're great. And um, so... For them and for, uh, for all the moms that came out and uh, who didn't get to speak and all that stuff, hopefully this helps. Um, and, uh, and Matthew Cropper at Cropper GIS at 614-415-1242 will finally hear your voices. Uh, and again, that's free Mason Burrow Forest, dude.